Um, okay. Here, I just, uh, look, there's no batteries in there, people. There's no batteries in there. There's just all this circuitry on top. See? And I didn't even solder anything together, I just bent it around. There. Right? So, so you got the antenna loop, and across the antenna loop is a 56 nanofarad capacitor, and then that is connected to one side of the big 500 microfarad capacitor, and those are both connected to the one nail. And then on the other side, we've got the other side of the 56 nanofarad capacitor connected to the antenna loop and also to the cathode end of this fast diode here and then the anode end of the fast diode is connected to the other nail and the other end of the 500 microfarad capacitor okay so that's the rectifier circuit there all right, so and those two those two wires don't don't touch there. So the diode is not shorted out. Okay, so that's the whole circuit, and then that's a magnet right there, and it's just stuck to a screw that I've got screwed into the wood. Okay, so that's the whole circuit, and I've taken out the batteries. There's no batteries in there, people. Okay. So let's see, I think I got it this way. Oops, sorry. Oh, it's just, it's not very stable, so let me just put something under there. There, that holds it better. Okay. So now we'll put the armature in place in the slots. If I can get it in there. Yeah, okay. Okay, and then now I'll turn on the wireless power transmitter. Like that. And then we'll give this a little starting whirl. And there you go. Now I tried all kind of different diodes and the only the only ones that I could get to actually work uh, were the ones the ones that I showed you there. And maybe it's not even working anymore. Obviously my connections are not all that good since I'm not even I don't even have anything soldered. But it was working. There you have it. I love it when people think that the real things that I show are faked and the fake things that I show are real. That really gives me a charge. This is real. Just what you're seeing is real. I got the wireless power transmitter running off the 12 volt battery transmitting power 
across that gap wirelessly to the DC receiver made out of the components that you're looking at right there. And like I was saying, the diode is critical. You need an ultra-fast, high-voltage, high-current diode in there. Uh, and this is the only one out of my stash that worked. I tried 1N4000 series diodes, I tried a 1N5400 diode, I tried uh, 1N34 and 1N60 germanium diodes, and this is the only one in my stash that works, and that's the last one of those that I've got. I've got to try to find some more. Alright, thanks for watching.